Greetings friends and welcome to Enigma Night Gaming. My name is Liara and I will be your guide in today's adventure. Today we're playing Forgotten Hill the Third Access. Now when we were in here last time, we discovered this creepy mansion that we're supposed to go in and clean up. Well, it's quite a mess. How are we ever going to clean this up and uncover, you know, uh, cover up everything? I think first we're going to need to uncover all the secrets. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop in and get that done. All right. So, um, look at this mess. This is lovely. Such a, a amazing experience here. All right. Um, so last time, in our last episode, we actually, I wandered around here trying to figure out, like, if there was something we needed to do with this drawing. You know, we've got these holes punched and some kind of bone creature. And the only kind of bone creature pictures I could find were these two ones over here. And I just ran around. Uh, we have this chicken leg which I am pretty sure is going to need to get fed to this spider whenever we find him because the book we found talked about that. Um, and then we have this. So this sheet here is actually all we need to know. And I didn't quite make the connection before, but here, here's what we, we need to pay attention to. You have to kind of use your imagination here. So let's get to that puzzle, and then I'll show you what, what I mean. I, Because, see, I got confused. I was like, well, there's a vial of blood over there. Maybe we need to do something with that. No, it, I, it should, be, should be much simpler. Well, let's see. So we knew it was related to the spoon puzzle and that there was these different heights. So here's the thing. If you were to turn on this tap, it's going to fill up, but because of, you have to use a bit of physics here, because of the diameter of these beakers, they're going to fill to different heights. So these two are going to go the highest, right? Because they're the smallest. So if you put the liquid in here, they're going to go up the highest. This one will go up the next highest because it's the next smallest. And then the first and the last one, they're going to be the lowest. So. Let's go ahead and do that. These two will be the highest. This one's going to be the lowest. And then this one's going to be medium. See? There you go. Easy peasy. All right. So what is this now? Uh, this is more... What is this? A brain? If I only had a brain? Do, do you want the chicken leg? Okay. I don't know what we're supposed to do with the brain now. That's, that's amazing. All right. Um, well... What can we do with the brain? Um, do we need to do something? Because there is this candle here. I don't think we need to do anything with that. Maybe it's the grate. Maybe we can now do something with the brain in the grate. Well, let's go see. Um, the grate was still over this way. I think it was in the, the really messed up room. Alright. Um, over here, perhaps? Alright. Uh, okay, so we still can't do anything with that. Can we look at the brain? No, we cannot look at the brain. And we cannot look in there. Okay, and then we do still have this. I am unsure what we may need to do with that. Alright. So what can we do with this brain? There is that plate. Maybe we can put it on the plate. There was a plate that was under the uh, deer head. Oh, that's right. Okay, so that's what we need to do. Okay, now you understand. So if you'll remember, back here in the story of the King of the Woods, the deer was claiming that he could get knowledge uh, by, so he ate the brains of um, the pig and the bear. So, and there was a plate right under the deer. So that undoubtedly is what we need to do with this. Um, where is that? Okay, where is that plate? Um, I 
think it was, yeah, there it is, okay, right here. So let's put the brain on the plate. Yo. okay, that's disgusting. But we uh, have done it. Okay, you're making a huge mess here, guys. Okay, that was just gross. All right, well, let's go over there and see what just got uncovered in that tank. All right, what is this? It's a key. Okay, let's take the key. Is there anything else we can do with that? I don't think so. All right, now, I'm trying to think. I remember seeing a keyhole in the wall of the messed up room. Is that where we need to go? Perhaps. Um, let's go check it out. Um, there was a keyhole, not in this room. It's over across the hall, I believe. Let's see. And it was like in the wall, right? Will it fit in here? Let's see. No, okay, good. Because I wasn't sure if I remembered seeing any other keys. Alright, so now we have a secret passage behind the bookshelf. Oh boy. Um, any time you go into a room where you just witnessed what we witnessed, and then you come and see a noose and bloody meat hooks, probably not a place you want to hang around. Just, just, just throwing that out there. Alright. What do we got here? We got um, a cage. Okay. Um, I'm guessing we're going to use that to lure a creature of some sort. Um, and then we've got this. Do we need to hang the chicken leg on the meat hook? No. Alright. Um, okay. I don't... Like, why? Why is this an option? Okay, I'm like, that better not be a thing that you, uh, I was just kidding. Um, why is this an option? Is this like a secret ending? Oh, okay. I was just like, oh, okay, okay, I see, I see. We're gonna have to put something there. Can we hang, can we hang the, can we hang the bird cage on it? Perhaps? There we go. Hmm, it needs something in it. Do we put the chicken in it? Ah, okay. There is the spider. Nice. Okay. Can we, like, die from the spider? Okay. What are these notes? Anything? Um, can we do anything over here? Alright. Um, okay. I guess there's nothing else in here. Um, what is... What? That's an evil looking mask. Um, and we have a fork. Okay, what's this? Certificate of Adoption. Theodore Ostergaard, Adoptive Father Baxter Anderson. No mother. Uh, city of Residence, Forgotten Hill. Okay. Uh, information about the child before adoption. Name of the child at birth, the, uh, Theodore Ostergaard. Born in Forgotten Hill on November 1st, 1878. The father was Victor Ostergaard. The mother was Esther Ostergaard. Okay. Um, what else do we got? Ethan McMillan. Okay. Um, was that the... Okay. Still adopted by Baxter Anderson. All right. Owen McMillan, Agnes McMillan. What's our birth date? April 23rd, 1877. Okay, so these are very close. Alright, and then we have another one, Nathan McMillan. Wait, Ethan McMillan, Nathan McMillan. Oh, wait, they're twins. They're twins. Both born on April 23rd. Okay. Uh, okay. She is older. Uh, Ruth Anderson. Um, wait, what? Owen McMillan, Agnes McMillan, Lillian Mc Okay, so they're like cousins? Why is he adopting all of these kids? What is... that's really weird. Okay, what... what... 
What are you even doing, sir? Okay. Um. We got a ladder here and some paint. Do we need to do something with the paint? Uh, and then there's this. What is this? Oh, 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 I know what we do here. Okay, so this is, I recognize this. We want whatever letter that is, GMB. Uh, GMB. Okay, so it is an A. Alright. So, I think that was it, right? Let's look and see. Oh, G needs to be up. I think, okay, so G up there. G up here. And then B was over here. Right? Is that it? Let's look. Um, A, G, M, B. Okay, so that is correct. Um, and now what is this? This is... Um, hmm. So we got to figure out colors of this. Colors of these people. Um, I'm not sure I've even seen them, but we have three sliders. Is it just going to be the same code that we had before for green, blue, and red? Let me see if I can find where I had that written down. We could always go look at the clocks again, I suppose. But if I have it written down, you know, if I can find it, I uh, don't know. We might just have to go look around. I'm not sure. All right. Let's see. So our blue one is two. So theoretically, let's go look at green. There was more than just this, but we can go see if we can find green and red real quick. Um, if I can remember where those clocks are. There was one in, like, the study, I believe. Wait, maybe there was... Was there one in here? Uh, no, I, I know there was one in the study, though. Um, oh, there's one right there. I think that one's the wrong color, though. Oh, no, it is red. Okay, so red was eight. The figurines on the wall... Yeah, what? I don't know. There, That puzzle I was on... Um, all right, so red is eight. Are you talking about the um, the little animal figures that I just passed? Let's see. They were right here. These ones. Um, that was another puzzle that we had done. Okay. Yeah, that was another puzzle that we did last time. And it well, wasn't really a puzzle. It was like, put uh, this statue. And, and they still might, because I can look at it. So, I mean, it, it, they might still match. Anything's possible. What was this clock? This one, okay, this one was the green. Green is five. I don't think this is going to be the answer, because I don't think there is an eight option. But let's go take a peek. I, I, we haven't fully explored anyways, so, I mean, there could be um, more stuff that we need to uncover there anyways. Let's go, let's go take a peek. We can always jot down the animals just in case. Because um, you never know. Okay, so the animals, I have no idea what this is. This is like a kiwi bird or something and then a rabbit some kind of goose a squirrel and then a chicken all right so we can at least we got oh wait 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 actually 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 there is another puzzle we need to keep on the lookout for um, I don't think it's related to that um, picture that we just saw, 
we've got this one. We're going to have to bang these in a certain order. Um, and I'm not sure what that order would be right, right now. So that's another puzzle we need to keep an eye out for. Alright, now let's head back in the murder room. Alright. Now, I don't know, but let's see. Green, one, two, three, four. Yeah, there's only four. I think it's going to end up matching these guys. So, maybe we need to explore around a little more. Can we open this door? We can. Okay, uh, who's in the cell? Um, hello? Can I help you? Get me out of here, please! Uh, who are you? I don't remember. I don't remember anything since they brought me here. Okay, how long have you been here? I don't know. I don't remember when I got here, but it sure has been a long time. Okay, well, what can we do to get you out? I don't know. I don't know anything about the bad man. I only remember the song he always sang. Okay, sing it for me. It goes more... Okay, here we go. More or less like this. Red for the soldier bathed in blood and gore. Okay, so red is the soldier. Blue for the archer. Uh, with arrows that rip and tore. There we go, yep. Green for the man who bows to the dead. I wonder what that is. Who bows to the dead. Um, together they bring an eerie dark dread. Okay. Let's go see what that is going to be, I guess. I'll try to help you now. Don't worry. Please hurry. I'm so sick. Is this one of the adopted children? That's a little terrifying. Alright, now let's see. Okay, so red is for the soldier. Well, that's obviously the last one. Uh, blue is for the archer. And now, who is the one that... Is, is this a plague doctor? Maybe that's the... Oh, I guess not. It was whatever the middle one was. Okay, well, that works. <laughs> Alright. Now, what is... What is, we got a key. Okay. All right. Um, can we use that key to open the cell? Let's see. Um, let's see if this works. It does. All right. Nice. All right. You're free to go. I can't follow you. I'm very weak. I haven't eaten for days. Uh, where did your jailer keep the food? In the room next door. I think he kept the key in the old stove out there. Okay. Uh, wait for me. I'll find something. Please hurry. I'm so hungry. Poor guy. Um, whoops. I don't want to talk to you. Um, I want to look around your room. That's sad. Your bed is very disgusting. Can we move the pillow? Can we look under your bed? Aha! Uh -huh. uh, the three-legged beast. When the time has come, behold, after eons of sleep, the three-legged beast will arise, bringing ancestral horror and astral knowledge. And by that time, the blind humanity will be able to see again when the three-legged beast will have rested on the great eye uh, at the center of the cosmos, and the way shall be revealed, and the screams will die down, and oblivion will cover everything. Okay, interesting. Hmm. Well, that's another uh, document, at least. Um, hmm. All right. Can we do anything with this mirror or the rocking horse? All right. What do we got over here? There's a little cup. Oh, bowl. Anything in the sink? What is this? This is a tripod of some sort, okay. Alright. Um, let's head out. Alright, can we... Okay, so he said something about hiding the key in the stovepipe. Okay, nice. Um, Alright, 
can we do anything with the wood? Alright, nope, we've already done that. Okay. Well, let's see. Um, let's use the key. There we go. Um, okay. It's just getting more and more cursed as we go along. Alright, what exactly were you guys involved in? Um, is, okay, so this was... I think might be what we need here. One, two, three, four. No, maybe. Maybe not. Okay. Hmm. Um, okay, so maybe we'll have to figure out where to put that and it'll tell us symbols, perhaps? And it's over here. We have another document. Congratulations, you are the lucky owner of the latest breakthrough in science and technology for household application, or, yeah, applications. I, I was trying to say appliances. The automatic techno-mechanized can supplies opener. After placing the target container in the appropriate compartment, simply apply a slight vertical force to the self-moving lever to access its contents in a matter of seconds and without any physical effort. Okay, so I guess if we had a can, that would be useful. Uh, there is a bloody cleaver. All right. Uh, well, there's a can. Uh, lake fish. Okay. September 6, 1919. I keep hiding my freedom, and I've started to feel stronger and stronger. I realize that even during the moments when the demon controls me, I can find the strength to resist. I'm starting to believe that I can get rid of the demon and completely regain control of my life. September 18th, 1919, I managed to secretly contact the members of the Secret Brotherhood of the Third Axis, a group that is opposing evil. This gave me some hope and comfort. Helping them in their fight may allow me to atone for the terrible sins I have committed. October 23rd, 1919, my collaboration with the Third Axis is bearing fruit. We have sabotaged some of the terrible or some terrible plans they had undertaken. I still feel guilty about the horrible things I did under the demon's control, but I'm trying to use this experience to become a better person. January 13th, 1920. I am afraid they have discovered me and are coming for me. I tried to move in the shadows as much as possible, but I think it wasn't enough. After all, she is the Queen of Shadows. If I'm right, I don't have much time left. Uh oh My fears came true. There are men who follow me wherever I go. I'm sure I don't have much time. I have hidden Element C, where I hope Third Axis will find it. God have mercy on me. Okay, so that's the other thing, is we're looking for Element C. Whatever that is. No idea. Alright, um... I guess we're going to open the can. Um, it seems I need some sort of lever to activate it. Okay. And we can't just, like, use the hole in the cleaver, right? Or the tripod somehow. Okay. So we need to find a lever. What's in here? Um, okay. There's a hook there. It's mighty ominous. Um, we can't look at those papers. Okay. Um, there's a door there which we may need to go through. Can we... Was there anything in here? I don't think so. Nothing on the floor. It doesn't look like... Okay, so what's through the door? Cannot get through. What is this back here? Do I even want to know? Okay. Well, all is not lost. I have some ideas of things we could do. Um, because we have this shape now, this little blue star shape. There was another uh, socket in the semi-normal part of the house that we never were able to do anything with um, because we didn't have the piece. So let's go see if this will fit and maybe we'll get a handle. I think it was in this room, maybe, or no, maybe it was in this room. Let me see. Ah, yes, it was back here. All right. Uh, will this one fit? It's not the right shape. Okay. Hmm. 
Oh, but there... Wait, wait, wait. But there is... Um... Is, is it there? Or is it here? It might be here. Okay, yes, okay. So it's here. We're just gonna have to get the green one now. Okay. So what do we do? Can we, like, combine these somehow? No. Alright, um... So now... What do we do? Have we we have not solved this one yet. These symbols. Not sure if they look familiar or not. We also have the cleaver that's new. Is there something we can do um, with the cleaver? Like maybe we have to do something with. Um, I can't. I don't think I can do anything with this body. I think this one is just kind of like, you know, it's whatever. But maybe the other one, possibly? We can try, anyways, and see. Um, let's look and at least see if there's anything to do. Probably not, but you never know. We keep finding surprising things to do with this guy. Okay. Um, wait, wait, wait. But there was also this glass bulb. Maybe we can use the cle uh, cleaver to break this. Let's see. I mean, I thought I'd need a hammer, but maybe? No. Okay. So we, we haven't quite found what we needed for that yet. Okay. Um, well, let's see. Our... What else do we have that we could look at? We've solved that puzzle. We have not quite solved all the puzzles in here. We've done that. That's fine. This one is still uncertain. We're not sure what to do with that one yet. Um, and nothing in the cabinet. Nothing over here. Alright, back to the cursed areas. Let's see if we've missed something. And there's still this thing. I don't know what to do with this. Can't use the... I mean, I, I, I'm kind of grasping at straws here as far as, like, using the tripod there. Like, why would that make sense? Um, Alright, let's go through here again. Alright. Um, so we've already taken care of the secret door there. Uh, I don't see anything else in here. I don't see any handles. Unless we're supposed to, maybe we use the cleaver to hack off one of the hooks to use as a lever. I mean, it doesn't really make sense, but you never know. Anything under there? Alright. Um, is there anything here I need to grab? I just want to use the cleaver on this evil looking mask. Alright, uh, let's head back through here. Uh, let's see. Is there anything in here I can use? What if we cut up his bed? Is there any, any purpose to that? No. Um, can we cut up the horse? Or the mirror? What is that on the floor? Is this a thing? I guess that's just a nothing. It looked kind of like maybe... I guess that's the foot of the mirror. And I can't take the cup. Alright. Let's see. Can't do anything with that. Alright. There's nothing here to take. Alright. Now are here again. We have this puzzle, which let's cycle through this. We have the infinity, a hand, are these like maybe digits, so five possibly, but then what would this be, you know? An eye, a fire. Yeah, I'm not sure what these symbols are supposed to mean. I mean, I could certainly take guesses. But that's all they would be, is guesses. Alright, can we, like, cut this off somehow? No. Do we need to, like, rig up the tripod in here somehow? Okay, no. 
sure about the picture? Probably not. Alright, this is fine. I feel like we don't have everything we need for that puzzle yet. Probably. Um, we got the cans there. Was there anything down here that we needed to... Oh, there's one here. Okay. Aha! I know what that was for. That I recognize. Yes. Okay. So, let's head back to the kitchen. Maybe that will unlock something for us. This game is cool. It's kind of sneaky because you have to, like, use the 3D bits to, um to find the answers to puzzles like I swear the first episode I wandered around for what felt like forever and the one item I needed was hidden behind the gramophone it was amazing okay so we have the boy uh, like the boy scout and then them doing trees and then the kite and then just the girls. Okay, so the Boy Scout, and then them doing trees, the kite, the girl, and the old maid. Okay. Aha! We got a lever. Alright. And we have matches. That will probably be useful. Is there something we need to do with the silverware? Alright. Nope. Alright, so we are good. Happy days. Alright. Now we can go open the can. We are zooming along today. Goodness gracious. Let's head over here. Alright. Um, through here. And one more. Alright. Use the lever. Okay. So now let's pull... Can we use the lever? Okay. Opening the can. It looks disturbing. Lake fish. Alright, we have an opened can. Can we... I mean, it's kind of gross, but maybe he'll eat it. I mean, they've eaten weirder things. Uh, here you go. Would you like this disgusting can of stuff? I can't drink from that jar. It would cut my mouth. Please pour it into my cup. Okay, sure thing. I will do that. Alright. Looks like blood. Mmm, tasty. Alright. Now, let's see. Would you like the cup? Okay. Drink your daily dose of blood. I'm a little better, thanks. I can follow you now. Okay. Um, let's run before anyone comes. Sure. Where are we going, though, is the main question. Nothing to do here. Um, can I go in here? I want to... Am I able to go through here? I cannot. But I have a... Matches. Can I do something? Can I maybe light this? Um... light a fire? No, it doesn't appear to. So where can I use the fire, the matches? Hmm. Alright. Um, I guess let's see what happens if we go this way. Like, maybe something will happen if we try and go out the door. Uh, yeah. There is a... Um, yeah, I thought the monster wasn't roaming around the house. I thought I killed that cursed monkey. No, it is almost impossible to kill the monster. Do you know where that being comes from? I don't know where the monster came from. It was already here when I was captured. My jailer would release it when he left the house to keep guard. Do you know how your jailer used to cage that thing? I think he was luring it with food to make it go into the cage. 
Okay. Um, I will try to kill it again. Better not. The monster is very dangerous. It could kill you. It's better to continue now. I'm too scared. I'm going to hide in the closet. Okay. Uh, which closet is he hiding in? Now, we already know um, the cage. Like that, I've already figured that out. Is, it, is he in here somewhere? Uh, maybe not. Okay. Is, there was a closet in the other room. Is he hiding in here? Are you hiding in there? I, 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 I am so scared. Alright, will he say anything else? Alright, so we need to find food to put it in the cage. Hmm. Alright. What is over here? We got... We can't get any more cans, right? Um, hmm. Okay. So... Are we going to die to the monster if we try and use the cleaver? I mean, where else? Okay, what can we get to lure it with, perhaps? Um, are we just going to die here? We might. Um, can we, can we, now do we need more, more meat? Okay. All right. Um, we have fire. Okay, so can we do something with the matches? Like, is the creature going to run into us? We have this over here. Is there a way we can light it? Maybe? Um, doesn't appear to be. Okay, I guess not. Nothing there. Alright, is he, where did he go? Like, that's almost, that's probably more unnerving, is that he's just disappeared. He's nowhere to be found. Is he in here? There he is. Can we kill him? Oh, he's just gonna kill us? Okay. <laughs> Alright, so don't go that way, I guess. Um, Alright, so everything we need must be in this vicinity somewhere. Is there anything here that we can do? Um, we've got this stand here. What do we do with the tripod? I'm very curious. Alright, so we do have that grate. Is there something we can do with the grate? Where was he? What, he was not in here. Um, he was in the next room. So we cannot go over here. That's fine. I don't think we need to go over there. Um, we'll need to access that. Uh, there's nothing in the grid, I don't think. Let's go back over this way. I want to know what we can break that open with. Like, it would be nice if we could just smash that open with the cleaver. Or, or like, um, burn it. I need to break the sphere to get it out. Yes, I know. Alright, so what can we do? Um, Alright, so I think we have actually solved all the puzzles in here. Because there was that one, which we solved. And then that one in the spoon puzzle. So I think the kitchen is actually all solved. Hmm. Oh wait, what is this? Oh wait, this is new. This is new. And this is uh, the answer to a puzzle that we need. Um, okay, so we the infinity sign. And then we have this um, spiral thing. What else do we have? There's these slashes. Um, is 
there anything over here? Okay, we got a handprint. All right, so we have the hand. What else do we have? Was there only three? Ah, and then we have the eye. Okay. Um, okay, eye is three. I see the slashes. All right, infinity one, maybe? I don't know. Um, this is definitely one, two, three, four. The slashes is definitely four. Um, the hand. I'm not sure. Um, is there any slashes around? I mean, I'm not sure if that counts as one. Let's see, that's definitely three. Um, I don't know. What would the infinity be? Um, I don't know. Well, we can at least... Uh, uh, there's only two that... We know all the symbols, and there's only two I'm not necessarily confident about so we can at least attempt it and see what we come up with was it this puzzle no I think it was in the other room all right let's head this way uh, I think it was in here yes right here okay um, so three was the eyeball Four was the spiral, right? And then we know this, so maybe it's hand and then infinity. Maybe. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I misunderstood the slashes then. So we know the symbols. Maybe there's something else that says what the order is. Like they're they're different heights. So perhaps we need to go see um, what we have for heights. Maybe we need to just kind of go from left to right and see what we got. All right, let's go look. All right, so if you go to the middle of the room, all right, so we have Hand is first, according to this, right? And then I, right? But they're both on the bottom. Infinity and comes next, and then that one comes fourth. Although these are on the top, I don't know. not sure if there's a way to is there anything to do in here matches burn the place down all right um oops set up the tripod in here okay um all right, let's go, I guess let's go try, we have it written down now, We and we have what order they're, sort of what order they're in. Um, we can see if this helps. Okay, so first we saw the hand, then we saw the eye, then we saw the infinity. Okay, that was it. Okay, so it wasn't left to right. All right. Um, well, there's a hunk of meat. Okay. And there's a hammer that we can break that thing. We chunk, chop off a hunk of meat. Nice. Okay. Uh, six. Six chunks of meat. Okay. That's a little unnerving. All right, so we have these symbols. Have I seen these somewhere? I have not seen them yet. Not in this game. Um, there's a shower over here. 
Okay, there's a paper in here. What is this? It's terrible. I can no longer accept being accomplished to such barbarities. They kidnapped that poor boy and hid him here. God only knows what they've done to him. He seems almost drained of his very soul. At the moment, my task is to feed him and keep him locked up. I won't participate in their experiments. I have to resist. Okay. Hmm. Do we need to start a fire in here? Alright, let's see. Are we going to need to cook the food? I don't know. Um. Well. I guess. Let's hang this in there. And do we like go into another room? and hope he comes in there? Maybe? I don't know. It's a little unnerving. Do we, do we, oh, I see, I see. You gotta bait him this way. I see. Okay. Okay, yes. You put the meat on all of the hooks. And then, he, you have to put two on here? No, okay. Alright. Um, and then there's one right there that we gotta put it on. Okay. And then there should be one more. Somewhere. Where is the last hook? Um... I kind of don't want to go right there, because I'm afraid, I mean, that's where he is, right? Isn't he? Maybe? I think he's like right there in the next room. But where do I put this last piece of meat? Um, do you use it? I don't know. Maybe it's not in this room, because there's, like, no blood in this room. Um, let's go look this way. Maybe it's through the kitchen. Um, maybe you have to use the last piece of meat itself. Uh, I don't see any more hooks here. I mean, there was the one double hook, but that was it. Okay. Do we, what happens if we do this? Do we just die? Do we say here's the meat? Okay, so that's not it. Okay, um, so where is the last hook? It's got to be back there in the cursed area, right? Let's go see where we missed a hook. Alright, because there's no hooks here, right? We've got one hook here. Then he comes there and eats it. Alright, then we go in here. Alright, and then there's one over here. I bet you I've missed one. Ah, there we go. Well, no, that's not a hook. Okay. So where is the, where do we put the, do we put two pieces on here? No. Okay. Where's the the lat? Do we like combine this with the tripod? Set the tripod up somewhere? Do we actually end up putting two? Is there a hook in the in his cage or in his cell? That would be kind of crazy, but you never know. All right. Um. There was the double hook. Do we need to set up another one? right here. It doesn't appear to be. Then where is the other hook? Is it closer? Is there a hook closer somewhere that I'm not seeing over here? Maybe? Okay, if we go here, he's going to be like, oh, I'm right here. Okay. Alright, so, not this one. I 
did get an achievement for that, though. Ah, maybe here? There we go, okay. Alright, so let's watch him just run past. He's gonna run in there, eat all of them. Very nice. Alright. Okay. And then hopefully the door gets closed. Are you gonna close the door? Close it. Nice. Alright. Very nice. Great job, son. Alright. Can we, like... Alright, hopefully... Let's run before anyone else comes. Alright. Good, good, good. Now we have the hammer. We can go smash that um, case and get the green um, little shape that we can put in there. Let's get out of this cursed area. I'm starting to wonder who we're working for here. This is totally messed up. Alright, let's run. Um, it was in the next room, I think. Uh, no. Keep going, I think. Was it in this room? Ah, yes, it was right here. Okay. Alright, now let's smash this. Grab that. Nice. Alright. Um, where was that piece? It was back over this way. Somewhere. Not in here. Um, in here, perhaps? I forget exactly where it is. It's somewhere in this vicinity. Next. Oh, wait, yes. Right there. Okay. Now we can put the green one in. Let's see what this unlocks. Aha! And. Okay, actually. Okay, okay, okay. We know where this is. This is, um,. That box that was in that last room we were just in. So back to the cursed area. Uh, okay, I was like, wait, what? I thought maybe he ate the body, but that was just where he was. Okay, so now let's go back to the cursed area. Uh, all the way back. Yep, you can complain all you want. I'm not letting you out. You creepy thing. Alright, in here. And this one. Okay, so now let's look at it. Uh, one is the circle. Okay, so I'm actually just going to write these down because I'm terrible at remembering. Uh, two is like the railroad track. Three is the square. And four is that symbol. Okay. Um, so we have the circle. And then we have the railroad track. And then we have the square. And then we have the little tuning fork. Alright. Um, Okay, we got a screwdriver. Uh, we can use that on the grate. Alright. Uh huh. Let's run before anyone comes. Alright, we're trying. We're trying, my child. Alright. As we're going, I'm thinking we've solved all the puzzles we're passing, so that's good at least. I think there's, um,. At least two offhand I can think of that we haven't solved yet. This one is one of them, though. So, and I'm wondering if when we take these great uh, these screws out, if we're going to find um, that symbol that we needed. 
There's something over there, but it's too far away. I can't reach it. Can we use the tripod for it? No. The hammer? Hmm. Okay, so how do we get it? Um. Okay, so we need something to reach with. Can you get it? I can go into the passage and take that thing. Please do. Alright. Go grab it for me. Hopefully he'll be okay. Is he going to come out? Alright, there he goes. Okay, what is this? Here it is. I took it. Looks like a, a handle of some... Oh, I bet it's the right shape. I, if I had to if I had to guess, I bet it's the right shape to go into that little hole by the couch that we haven't been able to open to date. Let's go see. Uh, this is it? It is. All right. Now what do we got here? Uh, is this where we put this up? No. Um, okay, so we got all of these symbols. Okay, so we're going to have to do something. Set up some kind of... Aha! Alright. Alright, so now we put this right there. Okay, do we shine a firelight somewhere? between it or, or do we just look through here okay okay there we go there we go okay so we have the in is first then we have the little sideways Z and then the little curly with the Z and then the little cursive looking E all right uh, the, that was the safe right where is the safe in this room so right here yes okay so first we have um, okay um, okay so first we have the in shape all right now we have the sideways V shape which is this one now we have the curly Q with the Z this one and then we have the E shape. Uh, this one. I think. There we go. Okay. Nice. Break the safe. What do we got? Okay. So we have uh, a candle. All right. Baxter Anderson. Forgotten Hill of uh, Forgotten Hill is a municipal security officer. Okay. The clobber will strike where the arcane tuber lies in wait. The clobber will strike where the arcane tuber lies in wait. Arcane tuber? What is that supposed to mean? Like a potato? I don't know. Hmm. Is this a map of the cursed area? I'm not sure. Alright. Uh, is there stuff on the bottom shelf we can get? I'm not sure. Um, doesn't look like it. Okay, so maybe this is like dynamite and not actually a candle? Okay, so our, the clobber will strike where the arcane tuber lies in wait. What does that even mean? It, it, hmm. Are we, we're not able to, like, turn that one over, right? No. Okay. So, all right. Maybe we got to figure out where that is on the map. So there is this tiny, let's talk to you. Maybe you have some insight. Let's run before anyone comes. Okay. So maybe not. All right. So there is this tiny room. Um, it, it, and I'm wondering if this might be where it is right here. Arcane tuber. Hmm. 
there is a candle here. Do we put this candle here and light them both? Aha! Okay. Now, do we hit this with the hammer? All right. It's a mandrake. Here it is at last, element C. My mission is over. It's Camille. They named the mandrake Camille. Interesting. I just have to erase every trace and destroy this sad place. Uh, oh, okay, okay. We're just going to burn it down. <laughs> Well, burn it to the ground. I mean, I'm, I don't disagree there. <laughs> After facing terrible horrors, I have finally found Element C, and the Brothers of the Third Axis will be able to use its potential in the battle against evil. Releasing the child from captivity was another great success. Luckily, I had the strength to overcome the dark forces that held him captive. I see a brighter future now. I am sure the Seeker Brotherhood of the Third Axis will soon be able to put an end to this far. Are you sure, though? But are you sure? All right. Well, that was exciting. I think the second half was probably more fun than the first half. Like, I feel like I got stuck a lot more on the first half. Um... Maybe that was just learning the game or, or whatnot. But once I, I figured out that I did actually have all the pieces I needed for that spoon puzzle, uh, then everything just started like unfolding super quickly. But that was super fun. And um, I really love Forgotten Hill games. Although I'm, 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 I'm skeptical of this uh, Forgotten Brotherhood stuff, like... Uh, what what is up with that is that really going to, is this third axis you know are we really going to be on the side of good or are they actually the secret uh evil of forgotten hill i don't know i guess we'll find out whenever the next game comes out i'm i can't wait for it um but yeah if you enjoyed this game make sure to check out my other forgotten hill playthroughs because they're all super fun um and you know they're all like spooky creepy sort of puzzle games but i really like it if you like this kind of content please make sure to like subscribe follow share all that good stuff if you want to watch live we are on twitch at twitch.tv slash 27 i have my schedule posted in the about section and if you want to see which games i'm playing each day i post them on twitter.com slash 27 and i hope you'll join me in the next one guys until then bye